Introduction Tarun, do you know how far is our school from home? I don't know how far is it. It is 3.2 kilometers. Oh, 3.2 kilometers. You mean 3 kilometers, right? No, Tarun. It is more than 3 kilometers. Hmm, I don't understand point 2 here. What is it? Well, 3.2 lies between 3 and 4. And we call the number after the point as a decimal number. Basically, it is a part of a whole number. Children, in this lesson, we will learn about decimals. Come along to know. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Explain the concept of decimals Discuss the importance of using decimals in everyday life Define repeating decimals and terminating decimals Identify irrational numbers Basically, a decimal is a part of a whole number Look, the fraction 5 by 10 could be written as 0.5. You can easily identify a decimal by looking at the decimal point. To understand decimals, we need to learn about place value first. Imagine we have a rectangle that represents one whole object. If we divide it into 10 equal size rectangles, we will have 10 parts of 1 or we can say tenths. Now, if we divide those rectangles into 10 smaller rectangles, then we have 10 times 10 or 100 parts of 1, that is hundredths. Dividing those rectangles into 10 smaller rectangles, we have 10 times hundreds or thousands parts of 1, that is thousands. So, the fractions tenths, hundredths, thousands, are called decimal units. Well, writing the decimals is pretty easy. Numbers to the right of the decimal point are decimals. The place values are tenths, hundredths, thousands, and so on. Whereas numbers to the left of the decimal point are whole numbers. The place values are ones, tens, hundreds, and so on. Therefore, we read this number as 64 and 86 hundredths. Do you know, one rupee is just one hundredth of a hundred rupee? Isn't it interesting? We can also use decimals for the measurement, weight, and temperature. Therefore, Decimals are really very important. Decimals are easier to add or subtract just like the whole numbers. For this purpose, you have to line up the decimals first. See, it's easy. Also, decimal numbers are easier to compare. Just by adding zeros at the end of the shorter number to make the numbers of same length. And you can tell right away which number is bigger. Remember, adding zeros to the right of the decimal does not change the value. Some decimals don't stop and go on adding numbers to the right forever. Look at the decimal numbers of the fraction 1 by 3. What did you notice? It starts with 0.33333. And just keeps on going on and on. So these decimals are termed as repeating decimals. You can round off the number after the 3 tenth or 300. But it is more accurate to put a line over the last number. This line indicates that the number keeps on going. And the decimals that stop are called terminating decimals. Some decimals called irrational numbers don't end or repeat. A good example is pi, which is the ratio of circumference of the circle to its diameter. It begins with the number 
3.14159 and keeps going on with no particular pattern into infinity. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. A decimal is a part of a whole number. Numbers to the right of the decimal point are decimals and the place values are tenths, hundredths, thousandths and so on. Numbers to the left of the decimal points are whole numbers and the place values are ones, tens, hundreds and thousands. Decimals are used every day to talk about things like money, weight, temperature and measurement of distance. Decimals are added or subtracted by line up the decimal points. Some decimals that don't end and never repeat their digits are called irrational numbers.